What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we're learning how to create credits for your videos inside of Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So, the reason I use Photoshop is I like to type out all of my credits and make them in Photoshop. It kind of creates a master file for me. Now, you can use Illustrator or something like that, but I personally like to use Photoshop and it is a good way to export and create your credits for Premiere Pro versus using the Premiere Pro tool to create your credits, which can be kind of a headache and um, it doesn't really give me a master file. It's like once you make everything, it's really confusing and I've followed a few tutorials to do it and I just don't like it. So let's get started. Okay, we have Photoshop open here. I'm gonna create a new document. So create new and it brings up a little dialogue and my final export for my video is gonna be 1920 by 1080p for resolution, it's not 4K or anything like that. So we're gonna make a 19 by 20, or 19 by, 1920 by 1080p composition for Photoshop, but the height should be much, much higher. So let's do it by like 10,000. So it's a really, really tall document that we can type a lot of credits. And we'll create this, and boom, this is gonna be our credits. So what we'll do is uh, we'll create a new layer inside of Photoshop, and we'll switch this to black right here. Um, hit control backspace on your keyboard turns it black just like that so control backspace turns it black on the layer now we will create another layer for a text layer which actually will create another layer I don't know why I created another layer so we'll be able to type out text now so directed by let's change the font really quick um, let's I don't know Arial something very basic I'm sure yours would be much cooler than mine. So, directed by, and then, or let's let's change this to direct. Let's do cast, cast. Okay, and then we'll do another text layer, and we'll call it actor and people. Um, so it just looks kind of fancy. And we'll copy this, Command C, um, or Control C to enter on our keyboard. Control V, and then hit enter on our keyboard, and Control V. We'll copy all of this, Command C or Control C, uh, space down, and paste. And I'm gonna do this really fast, really quick. So, so this is like I don't know. It's, it, you could format this however you wanted for your credits, but this is for me. Um, now we'll move this over to the middle. I'll grab a little toolbar so the rulers pulled up. So window rulers or view rulers. Those are turned on. Let's turn these on. View rulers. I can drag out a line, snip it to the middle of Photoshop, it'll just hold like that. So my actors and people are here. And let's line this up to cast. And let's pretend this is our credits. I'm not going to go really fancy here. Now, we want to use this to create a scroll inside of Premiere Pro. But we've done one little mistake. Let's make sure that this starts at the very top. You want to make sure that your layer always starts at the very tip top right here. There could be a little bit of a leeway, but that's all we really need. Okay, so let's continue on. All right, so I'm happy with this. This looks really good. But one more thing, we need to turn off our black background. Now it's white on white, turn off the background. Now it's just like a transparent white text. Now we'll go to file, uh, save as in our credits. First we'll save the Photoshop file as master credits or whatever your movie is called, doesn't matter. Then go to File and Save As, and then drop down on the Save File Type and drop down to PNG, which will save, let's call this V1. And now we have saved our credits. Now, later on, if you ever wanted to update your credits or change the names, fix typos, you could update the master file and resave the prod or resave the credit file and it will update inside of Premiere Pro. So now we have Premiere Pro open and my credits movie sequence. Now, what you would normally do is drag in your PNG and like, you know, use it to scroll and stuff, but Premiere is now smart enough to know that we can drag in this Photoshop file into our sequence. It opens up a new dialog box and we go to merge all layers or individual layers, but we'll merge all the layers and we'll leave these checkboxes checked. Click OK. Now yours may say a lot more because there may be tons of different text layers for all the different casts and credits and stuff, like a Marvel movie where there's tons and tons of visual effects artists. Um, but we'll drag in this Photoshop file 
and we'll extend the layer around to a minute long because that's how long we want our credits to scroll on screen. So right now we don't see the credits anywhere on screen because if you remember inside of Photoshop, we created the credits at the very top of the composition. And I know it was a really big composition, but I'm assuming you'll add way more credits. So 10,000 is a good range. So what we're gonna do is go to our effect controls inside of Premiere Pro. If you don't see the effect control panel, just go to window and effect controls and it'll pop and it'll pop open no problem. Now, we'll take our position tag and we'll move the credits down really far until we can see the beginning. We want it to go below the screen because we want it to scroll up. And we will keyframe this position, so clicking the keyframe little stopwatch here. And we'll move this keyframe back to the beginning of the layer. Now scroll down our timeline right here or inside of here to the end, grab this and move it up. Now we can see that it's gonna scroll up like actual credits. And if we play it back, it will start to scroll between these two keyframes just like that. Now, what's really cool about using this Photoshop file instead of the PNG is that it creates a dynamic link between Photoshop. So, if we go back to Photoshop and we update this, this cast to be cast and crew, let's move it over, let's kind of do this, move the layer around, and we've saved this file once more it'll immediately update it inside of Premiere Pro. Now, this is my favorite way to create credits inside of Premiere Pro by using Photoshop. Um, it's just, in my opinion, a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and you can have like your graphic designer edit the credits um, rather than them jumping into Premiere Pro and learning a completely new piece of software to create the credits. Or you could use Photoshop on yourself. So, and I'm assuming if you have Premiere Pro, you have Photoshop because kind of in the Adobe suite. But that is it for today. I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.